Mr. and Mrs. Spies know what's coming, which is why in May last year they moved here. The Bulls captain and Springbok number 8 can sprint for 800 meters without tiring. If Pierre Jr. and one year old Judah are anything like their dad, they'll be needing plenty of legroom in which to express themselves. Hello! Hello, Roxy. How are you? Good, so how are you? See you. I feel like you have to come down to my level because yeah, I'm not much. particularly tall. Thank you so much for having us in your family home. Yeah, look, we've, uh, we've had one more added to our family and our previous home was a little bit small. You know, we had one tree in our garden and uh, not many places uh, to, to play for the kids. So it was great, you know, looking around while I was injured. You know, actually at that time, we had some time to move around and look at homes. And then, yeah, we found this place and uh, the moment we saw it was actually, you know, great just to, to, to settle down in it. So this must be a perfect spot for your boys. Yeah, for sure, there's plenty of uh, room and uh, we're right next to a river also, so, you know, just the other day we went fishing a little bit, so it's a great family home and we're enjoying every moment of it, yeah. Well, I'd love to explore and see more of the house. Yeah, let's go and have a look. The portrait gallery of the couple's wedding and the birth of their two boys includes photos of their own parents, establishing a strong family theme. With the stylistic choices, they had expert input. Well, I think it would be better if I introduce you to Vest Thunder, our decor <laughs> specialist and uh, he can tell you a bit more about the design elements. Sounds good. Why don't you head on out and go and spend some time with your family and Vess and I will chat about all things decor. Thank you very much. I'll do that. <laughs> Vess, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Tell me about the decor theme in this room. When it comes to colour scheme, uh, what we decided on was because of the black flooring and the quite decorative wallpaper that was already existent, we decided let's just bring in some copper elements and a few turquoise shades and just brighten up with a lot of white. Locally produced is the Greg Anderson print that we used on top of the black signboard, as well as the Himba lady that you saw in the corridor. Other imports is the slogan on top of the fireplace, which is from the USA. Was it a challenge for you to fill such a large space? When Pierre approached us, he said he wanted to keep a few of his family pieces and we decided, okay, let's work with that. The challenges with filling in such a large space is to get a good living out of the space that you're working in. Every family needs a good living space. So that was basically the major point for us, how to incorporate all the rooms but still keep certain sections private. How do you consider a family when you're putting together decor in a particular room? When we designed the space, we considered the children as well, because the little ones like to eat chocolate in front of the telly. So we decided to go for natural tones, earthy tones, but a little bit easier to clean. We used all our white furnishings on the outside and not in the center of the living space. This is the outside area. As you can see, again, we incorporated a lot of white elements just to make that crisp, fresh feeling happening again. And it's quite child friendly. A lot of earthy tones as well. You can see a lot of greens just to emphasize the outside garden area. What are some of the key features outside? Some of the key features we utilized was a lot of Hans Wegener inspired replicas, a lot of crisp whites and greens as you can see just to pull out the outdoor area in. Teak which is fantastic for maintenance on outdoor and it's superb, especially with the young ones running around, it's easy to clean. With the man of the house in sizzling form for the Bulls and the Springboks already in training camps, fans and family are holding thumbs that this will be the year for Pierre Spies. Hello guys. Now tell me, is this what daily life in the Spies household is like? Now we try to do it as much as we can. I think uh, after the school, getting the kids from there, we want to be outdoors under the trees as much as we can. The weather allows it. And, you know, we've bought this house for a reason so we can spend, you know, plenty of time in the house and around it. And are you enjoying raising your two boys in this home? Definitely. I think the wide open space in the garden is amazing because boys, they like to run around and, yeah, I love it. They love spending time outside, so definitely, yes. Are they going to become Springbok rugby players? We'll have to wait and see. You know, they have to grow up and, and reach their own potential. Obviously, their father will help them and guide them and, and, and push them at certain stages. But it looks like my eldest got uh, my wife's genes. He looks like a little engineer. So uh, <laughs> we, have to, we have to see where, where it ends up. And lastly, and very importantly, are you going to be bringing back that World Cup for us? 
Yeah, for sure. I think uh, South Africa, you know, is looking forward to that. And obviously for me, uh, you know, that's one of my big dreams also to win a World Cup and to be part of that squad. So we've got an exceptional team in South Africa, brilliant coaches. And with the support of the country, I know we can only do well. Well, I'll be screaming and shouting the whole way. If he makes the squad and we win, then a Bryant home is how the Spies family will celebrate.